Nips losing to Vitality, they still had the opportunity to go through. And in the end, did, because you see Nip actually been able to get that reverse sweep up against Fnatic. So yesterday was a crazy day. But as you said, today should be a little bit more straightforward, but not meaning that we aren't going to be seeing any crazy CS, because already we have Simple kicking things off, peeking in from Monster. Yeah, they've got a smoke lined up by Sphere as well. So the bomb plant's looking fairly likely at this point, especially as the nades go into the bomb site. Simple smoked off doesn't have a clear line of sight. So the bomb can move in safely. They should get this bomb planted at the very least, but Na'Vi continue to frag. Simple gets his second kill and they're just gonna run on in. Electronic is the first man to fall on the Na'Vi side of things and Krag gets a second kill in the midst of this smoke, but Flamey's come back with two of his own and it's up to Rage to try and win a 1v3. P250 in hand, they're already on the bomb. Boomich is just sticking this and Rage cannot land the shots. It's Na'Vi with a nice pistol the matchup against VP if I remember correctly and it's understandable as you pointed out getting the bomb plant does give you a few rifles and oh Kinky going straight up through B short three players though waiting around so there really wasn't much to do about living Crad gonna get one back and then Rage as he finds Perfecto around the pillar over on B are they gonna commit now in off the back of this is the question there is a quick flank coming in through connector simple coming down to see how he can help out but all of his teammates on that B bomb site just continue to fall. It's electronic and simple. We'll have to try and save it in the two on four. And there we go. A bit of an opening. That less simple move in towards short now, at least, and set himself up. Yeah, Navi's a dynamic duo looking to see what they can do, but Simple's down to a single point of health. So Electronic on the Famas is going to have to do the heavy lifting, and he's not going to be able to do so. Good shot from Forrester, and Simple is getting the hell out of there. So Hard Legion... Boomich coming up to, to give a little bit of assistance to Electronic, who is going to peek in towards Long. Okay, spots out Fiat. At this point, realized that no one else was close on Long, but he does hear quite a bit coming up through Shard. Krav's going to be the first one to actually lead that charge, finding Boomich coming in, and now Electronic stuck on the bomb site, completely blinded, getting naded and everything. I don't know how he's still alive eventually, though. Being forced to resort to the USB, he's not able to do anything else, and he will fall alongside Flamey. Leaving it now in a two on four without a kick currently in the possession of either of these players. This is going to be an extremely difficult retake for them. Well, here's the reload. So he knows Forrest is playing from truck. Perfecto hoping to get that fight, but Forrest is playing it safe. And actually, Forrest has got to kill elsewhere. Great shots at the end from Hard Legion. Two quick shots to the head. Let's have a look. Electronic right now. Again, being kind of the sole man around this safe bomb site, at least in terms of being aggressive on his own right now and towards connector. Boomich trying to go for that jump peek over towards B. Ends up getting caught by the off. And Electronic is also screwed. Molly now at a corner. Hard Legion already have a two-man advantage for themselves. So with a minute left on the clock and the two-man advantage, definitely feels like Hard Legion's round to lose at this point. But Simple's got one kill back. And having spotted Simple over on the A side of the map, we might just see Hard Legion commit to B here. It does certainly look to be the goal. We've had already a bit of a reaction from the CT side, though coming in, only one from Perfecto. That was a very difficult spot, to be fair. I believe he did have a teammate, a flash come over from a teammate. Simple not able to hit that up shot when he was given the opportunity on the player crossing over. I believe it was Fiat and... So far, I don't think Hard Legion really minded risking that here in the beginning of the round. And they didn't overcommit to either, but leaving those players in position for a long time. They have all begun to split back out now into the default. And with that, Forrester has caught the aggression from Flamey around short already. A 5 on 4 for Hard Legion. That makes sense. They have 3 on short right now, 1 outside Monster. And then in terms of the CTs, there's only 2 here to try and defend from the pit. But Perfecto already getting the opening kill. Had a little bit of help from Boomich, I believe, who's been spotted in that pit as well. They can't do really anything about stopping the bomb plant. Never mind. Crad did just fake it with that first tap. The issue is now the rotation's being given time down to the connector as well. Rage is gone. And it's all on Crad and Forrester to try and save the day. Forrester is still fragging, though. He's actually looking for the ace clutch right now with three to his name already. Pushes out to force the fight against Electronic. Brings it down to the one-on-one. -on -one, and he finds Simple as well. Forrester is just insane. Flamey will be yeah. tested here on the B-bomb site. Oh, not in that first shot, unfortunately. The player jumping out of connector. He heard the door open, tried to swing in him deep with that, and didn't quite catch the timing for himself. Crad, though, is ahead of the rest of his teammates, going into that short smoke. Seems fallen, rage being taken down elsewhere. Eventually, Forrester will return. The Where's man the who so far has been nearly unstoppable. Yeah, the bomb ran back up. That's what I was wondering. Once they lost the, the player over on short, once Crad, I think it was, went through the smoke and died, he, the bomb just started running back. I was really curious. 
will be looking to try and pick them off before they can come in. The issue is if they all push together, then it's going to be hard for them to find really more than one without the help of his teammates, that is. Perfecto does pop in alongside the Flash. Looked like he may have been able to line up the second player there, but nah, Rage barely taking any damage does manage to return and even retrieves the bomb now. So with this kind of two for two trade with still 50 seconds, they could just slow this down. But they were trying to work that boost there above the smoke over on short and unfortunately Boomich around the edge of the smoke was able to spot it and now again feeling the pressure to try and pull back a kill here for Hard Legion. Yeah, they're really hoping for just one pick here which would allow them to get onto the bomb site. but with the time being so low, Na'Vi realize that they're the ones that can just sit back and force Hard Legion to push forwards and that is not the time to peek with a smoke in your hand. Simple's ready for Rage's position. And with 12 seconds left, Crad can't win this. The bomb is too far away from him. He can try and frag out. He almost gets the lineup, but Simple is able to get the kill. Ooh, Simple. Wow. Okay, that's a quick shot. Crad has no clue what's just hit him because Simple goes jumping around the corner with the AWP. Yeah, I mean, if the bomb gets dropped at all, then this round is probably done. The issue is, Flamey has now been surrounded by players, manages to get one. He's gonna look to try and stop the bomb plant, but can't hit the shot. So it will at least go down, given a small chance to Hard Legion, but they are severely outnumbered. It is all on Rage, and... Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be really having too much of a chance in this one. Actually, hits the leg shot on Electronic, but not enough for the kill. We'll go down in the end, so... He jump peeked at the bait out the shot. There could be another couple players now beside him ready for that peek to come in. So just going to play alongside his teammates on the bomb site. And there is a really good setup right now. Ready to hold down this A bomb site. Crad though hits the instant headshot. Electronic has a player already coming in from long. And Kinky and Sviat just clear up the A bomb site. It is all on Flamey and Perfecto. With Flamey pulling back one, they are in a two on three. So you can't count them out of this. They have the kits to work with as well. Nades wise though, only a couple of flashes. So that is not fantastic. Ooh, Forrester unable to get the kill he was looking for. Perfecto with a quick headshot gives them a decent chance on this retake. Bombs planted a truck and Na'Vi have only just figured that out now. Flamey trying to hold but Perfecto's just gonna lock this in. He's gonna- no he's not! He's off the bomb! And I don't know if there's time anymore. Kinky just playing the clock and Perfecto has run out of time. He gets the kill but he's not gonna get the round. Hard Legion come away with a 10-5 half. Crad I think is gonna actually look to try and peek this. I was- Gonna say likely to just play up close and have his teammate back at the science button as well, but no, tries to go forward for info, ends up getting spotted by Simple, and with that does go down. Simple with a P250 and a pistol round is always gonna be a nice chance for Na'Vi to get the opening kill. You get the longer range headshot ability with the P250. Simple not able to connect this time round, but Boomich certainly can. The Glock's closing the distance onto the A-bomb site. Yeah, they, they should struggle to lose this round even if they wanted to, but obviously that isn't the goal. They have a five on three right now. They'll be playing the time on that bomb and making it as difficult as possible for Hard Legion to move in towards the bomb site. And yeah, just all swinging together once they find contact. Sharing the kills out as well. Not quite the team ace. Flamey wasn't able to get one. He was really covered the, the control around bathrooms as of yet. You see Krad is still up close, which is a position that may not be expected. Surprisingly, this spot does catch people off guard a lot more often than it should. Okay, actually just gonna pop out. Gives a bit of time to try and get the smoke down. Follows up with one more, and that was massive. Now he gives them the man advantage. You see 18 seconds left for Navi as they move forward, and Forrester alongside Rage, ready to trade out after Sviat finds contact, and there it is. Hard Legion on that opening gun round come true. Take it quite convincingly for themselves. 28 seconds now. Na'Vi have really got to get a move on here. Electronic might be in trouble. Sviat gets that kill and now he knows there's no one else on short. They should be aware it's likely a B play here. 18 seconds and they have to go through this smoke. Forrester's ready for it. Quick headshot onto the first man and Na'Vi are looking dazed in this round. There's not much left for them to do but they get some kills back. Maybe they can win this. Six seconds and Simple gets another shot. It's all on Rage and he can't deny the bomb plant. Simple has saved this round alongside Perfecto, they managed to make it work. From Crad, obviously this time not quite as aggressive, only peeking in a little bit later on, didn't push all the way through to get the control, but he will come out on short, Flamey being blinded, actually given a bit of time to recover, but Crad eventually pops in before he can get the vision back, and yeah, man advantage to connect their control, a good start again for Hart. what, is he gonna go through the smoke? Crad is mad. Ooh. Oh my god, and it works, he's just crazy. He doesn't care. Crad and Forrest there have been insane, man. Oh, 
simple. Trying for the no scopes at the moment. Wasn't able to connect, but he does have the help of Boombitch, who gets two. And also forces Rage Ooh. back off that short angle. Simple, though, he has four seconds. He can't do anything anymore, despite that crazy no scope. He just doesn't have the time. Especially once they hear these nades into the B site, I think Har Legion will realize what's hitting them. Flamey going in first, gets the initial frag, and Kinky also hits the deck. Good kills from Na'Vi onto the B bomb site, and Sphere on the rotate isn't there in time. Rage with three players against him is unlikely to be winning this round with the AWP. Some issues, I guess, to, to put it the way you did. Kinky obviously only having 500 there on top of the... And they can walk out through Monster pretty easily. In fact, they're going to move on to this site. Yeah, Forrester is going to eventually get this opportunity, and with that does get one kill. Unfortunately, losing everyone else, including the op of Rage, now means that Forrester really has to get it all done. He's been playing fantastic, to be fair, but his two teammates only having USP is, is, is going to be a difficult one, and while completely blinded, Simple manages to catch the wall bang. There was a little bit of a chance there for Kinky, as he managed to creep through the smoke. Nearly lined up two players with a USP for maybe even one more kill to be snatched. Fortunately, with the smokes down for now, they are given some safety to get that bomb planted. But look at this, Forrester already up on top of the bomb site. Trying to sniff them out at this point. But once that smoke fades, he may be able to spot them. Simple misses the first shot. Now they know where the AWP is and Simple misses again. It might be up to the rifles to keep him safe here because they're closing the distance and Sviat gets the opening kill of the retake. Trade's coming through. Simple finally connects, but he's trapped in the corner and it's all on Flamey. Three players against him. Line up for two, but he doesn't get the final frag. Almost transfers it and Rage, I think, just about has this. It was a little bit close at the end there, but he gets the kit. He gets the round. Yeah, up close to the up. That's dangerous, especially as the uh, as the Molly goes in. Sorry to actually flush him out of that position. Forced to drop the smoke down, which obviously gives away that he is still up close. But he could still have the opportunity to get something done. Simple finds the flank up through B. In the meantime, Flamey had already walked out onto the bomb site. Cuts off the rotation in heaven on Forrester, who had no idea. And the B bomb site's gone. This round is pretty much over. At this point, they may as well just go ahead and save these weapons. Oh, babysitting the bomb at the end here. Oh, Simple takes a tiny bit more damage. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead to the bomb. That's the AWP dropped for now. Na'Vi's money's fine, though, so it's not going to make a difference. And oh! Did he have any nades apart from a couple flashes? This is still going to be uncomfortable. The bomb is so far behind that Na'Vi are not going to be loving this as they move into the bomb site. Forrester gets one. Forrester gets three kills on the hold. What is going on? It's an absolute shutdown with Kinky lining up the final two kills. And then in about five seconds... And I'm sure they will be expecting to get the win on this one, Dean. Yeah, for sure. I, I think Na'Vi certainly should be bouncing back with the two remaining maps going in their favor but you never know hard legion they impressed us back on overpass but simple this is already looking better from him able to find two initial openings there towards the top of mid had electronic ready as well to follow up unfortunately not quite kick, uh, quick enough to give him the cover as the player moved down true lower so it is just the trade afterwards they've given some room though to kinky obviously the biggest issue being that bomb is down but this could allow him to catch a player off guard but nah the Glock is just not the ideal weapon for that position. Come through on Dust2 as well. You can get the scouts out if you want. And with that kill coming in at the end there, Boomich has secured the round win for Na'Vi. They didn't do too much damage. And eventually with the smoke now being dropped, they will play a little bit more passively. Krat actually finding Flamey up towards the window. Legion the chance to maybe snatch some more even. The issue is they start now moving up towards short. Just as simple actually pushed out through mid. So he's going to get some information about this. But it still may not be enough. Yeah, this is working well for Hard Legion here. A couple of headshots get them onto the A-bomb site. Boomich here holding A-long with the MP9 the entire time, so he couldn't really fight for the site, but Sviat has managed to not be spotted there. This is so well done from Sviat. He plays the position to perfection as he catches Boomich in the back. But they need to get some pretty quick kills here. Simple on the edge of this smoke, looking for an option. Perfecto gets a kill elsewhere. Simple goes down, and it's Perfecto with just 24 health. He realizes he can't win this round. Once again, Na'Vi get the initial pistol round win, similar to Overpass, but then exactly the same as Overpass. Not being the best weapon to try and come in and support with, so Electronic just needs to go huge on this Deagle. Let's get a shot off there. Does a small bit of damage on the Kinky. For now, at least, is continuing to run down some time and potentially allowing his teammates to set themselves up. Flamey should be spotted, though. Yeah, a little bit of a one-way under the smoke. 
Well, Electronic gets one kill at the ramp at the very least, but the rest of Hard Legion were ready to run him down. And I think Simple is also in trouble here. Gun barrel spotted, kill claimed by Forrester. And Boomich at the end might be able to take a 1v1 fight, but it's not going to be the best one for him. And Crag gets the final kill there. 3-1 for Hard Legion. Oh, battle for A-Long will commence at the start of this round. Electronic instantly taken out of the equation. And the Molotov gets the kill onto Boomich as well. Two-man lead from Hard Legion on the A-Long fights. And Flamey's thinking of just going for a play through this smoke at this point. Considering they're down in a 3v5, Na'Vi realize they need to do something to get back into this round. Simple holding from Car. They haven't cleared this. Flashbang lands. Simple. Oh, he might get some kills. He gets the first frag for free. But now he's trapped at Car, And there's the push. Sviat comes in from the other angle. Flank is good. So Na'Vi get themselves at least somewhat of a chance here. But Hard Legion are crossing to this A site. Yeah, Flamey only having the FAMAS though up close, Perfecto in the spawn was even being spammed away on before Crad peeked in above the smoke so he couldn't really do any. And with a few of the players looking for the short control, it looks like that may be the goal again though Navi willing to go a little bit more aggressive, it's Electronic who goes up around the corner, unfortunately Sfiat. He was a little bit further back, so the flash it did not affect him. He does pop straight out for the trade. Oh, Crad's in position, though. Crad could have this angle. Easy headshot for Crad. And now Flame, he's got the weight of the A-bomb sight on his shoulders. He has to try and do what he can to hold this one down. But in comes the flank. So well timed for him, Kinky. Just as Flamey looks for the fight, he gets shot in the back. And Na'Vi have got nothing left to do here. Surely this has to be a save. Forrester and Crad just going absolutely off. Molotov won't land on the site just yet. In fact, oh, it's extinguished in midair. So Electronic can try and fight from the bomb site with the M4 in hand. Quick kill onto the first player. Goes back for more, but Forrester's able to find the trade. Flamey on the flank. Deeg's down two. And now Forrester has got three players against him here. Even getting the bomb down is unlikely, but the spray transfer good onto both those players. And now it's into the 1v1. Perfecto with the P250. Holds on for Na'Vi. Overpass for Hard Legion. Win this one and into the next round even, you would see a couple players for Hard Legion struggling to get that full buy out. But Rage, off that long spawn, peeks in. Boomich coming through with his peak a little bit late off the back of a flash, I believe, from a teammate. But it didn't work out. The Ops able to snatch a, an advantage now in favor of Hard Legion. And you can see Simple realizing that he needs to try and find something back for the mirror early on into the round as well, potentially. Flamey peeking in towards middle is going to be caught. That flash didn't blind up anyone, apparently. Shooting for Perfecto holding this B site right now. Electronic is sitting behind the CT smoke. If that fades at the right time, he can maybe help his teammate out. But Kinky's already coming in through the door. Perfecto's been spotted, trapped at car. He gets one kill, gets a second. The Tech 9 eventually runs him down, and the rotate has also been denied. Electronic, who just arrived at the doors, goes down. If there's anyone who could win this, it would be simple. But as he goes through the smoke, Sviat's ready for it. 9 2 lead for Hard Legion send Rage back up for it, but they need to find these openings quickly so that they can actually quickly root that bomb site then over uh, the bomb over towards one of the bomb sites as well. They really can't fight any sort of resistance or at least prolonged resistance from these CTs. You do see Electronic already being able to find himself one on that CT lurker, but, per but Perfecto rather trapped in the back of the bomb site, still found one, but it was flamey. Really impressive. I feel like it was more hard legion just kind of running out of time and having to hail Mary it onto the B site. And yeah, Flamey landed some nice shots. Gotta give him credit. But at the start of this round, Sphere only able to get one kill for Hard Legion on the short aggression. Navi have started stacking a couple of players on short in these rounds. Electronic this time fighting for it alongside Boomich. He gets two kills. He gets his team the early advantage. And simple blinded off that angle. Is unable to land the shot. The smoke goes in, but Electronic takes the fight. And now Rage is looking for the trade, but it's not coming his way. The nade's about to land on him as well. So right at this point, Hard Legion, they are forced to just go ahead and commit into this. And it is not going to be easy. Perfecto already getting one. Rage on the off now having to take down two as he moves in through the window somehow. And that's pretty much impossible, especially with the flank from Simple. Spot them once they start moving forward. Should be able to find one allowed in for his teammates to come in and help. Oh, actually, he does peek back in for the second. And so far here on Dust2, anyway, Flamey is looking a lot better with that AWP. He also hears that player up close in the smoke being spammed down low. So there's really not much that Crad can do. They're left with just Rage trying to creep forward and see if he can potentially pick off Simple on A. Unfortunately, even if he gets that kill, there's no way for the bomb to be brought back over because there's already a couple players around short and mid. Yeah, solid shots from Flamey in this round, and he's the man that closes it out with a triple kill.
very afraid for them. Obviously, so far, they've been struggling with capitalizing on them. It was only on the second half of Overpass where they actually went out against the Force by in the second round. But for now, obviously, we need to focus back on this pistol. Kinky ended up in between multiple players there somehow. Okay, actually, Krad was hiding in the pit the entire time, so Simple didn't get the catch Fiat like I presumed he would. It looked like he was going to have a free kill. Forrester also setting himself up for a very quick flank on short. Gets the one, backs away as they try and hunt them down. And that is the perfect play. Look at the amount of damage they've done as well to those remaining players. Oh, Sviat continuing to look to line up these shots from the bomb site, but Boomich has been able to close the distance. Now Krad has got to try and do what he can, but Electronic gets the quick kill, and Forrester coming in from the back lines. His second kill on the board, but there are two more against him. Both players low, both without Kevlar. Jump shot not going to connect for Forrester. He's also not got the kit, but he's got the kill into the 1v1. Forrester looking to see if he can clutch this out against Boomich. He lands the shot. Forrester wins the clutch for Hard Legion. So the question is now, are they expecting this or not? They've actually rotated Spiat in instead, so they have the Famaster to help out Grad. He had the ability to catch one off guard, but ends up getting wrecked by the Tech-9. And then Flamey comes in with the Galil to get one. It's still being fought back for her by the boys over on hard legion but navi have done a good job trading this down to the three on three and kinky now as he rotates in as he loses his teammate over towards long he's in a lot of trouble and as you can see again it's left on forrester to try and clutch it out he has a nade he does have a kit as well and he's sitting pretty healthy there with that m4 so you can't count them out but navi they managed to get themselves into a pretty good spot that's not going to kill the planter but it will do good damage flamey to 44 but no as he peeks up perfecto there to cover his teammate gets dinked down all just holding long and watching for the cross to the bomb site. So they've got a fair few players committed to A, and that might leave B a bit vulnerable. Only two players here committed to the B bomb site, and Kinky tries to take a risk going through the smoke. That's not panned out for him, and it's a flurry of frags for Na'Vi. All the kills they need onto the B bomb site. This round is done and dusted, and it's all about whether or not Hard Legion can save at this point. Yes, we have just been hunted by a couple players, manages to get himself the first. He does also have a teammate over on long, so I was going to say once the peak comes in, Rage should be ready to give him the help that he needs, but unfortunately, it's over, but here we go. Simple going to make his way out long. The first kill is found for Rage, but not ready for Perfecto, who had already closed in the distance. With those smokes going down, you can see that one on the box, of course, stops him from really being able to see the heads as they cross over. So instead, it is going to be the off of Rage that needs to find a bit more as they move on towards the bomb site, playing around the smoke. Unfortunately, not able to really react in time. Wasn't scoped in. Boomich just peeks through with a flash from Perfecto, who actually himself gets blinded as a little bit of revenge there over on short. So a good recovery from Kinky. And they do now have the man advantage working in towards this retake. The issue is only the one kit nades wise. Just a few flashes remaining at this point. But they do have the T's trapped in around the bomb site. So they're feeling forced to take the fights. Flamey already getting one. Boomich peeks towards long and regains the control. Suddenly it's all on Forrester. I was going to say and Kinky, but he was gone before I could finish the sentence. And yeah, Forrester realizing that with his teammate gone, he needs to be gone too. But he wants to do so staying alive. You don't have to. There is a Deagle here for Rage that does want to take the fight on towards Tunnels. Feel this, being the soul, the actual soul B defender right now, though, it makes that quite risky. Because if he goes down, the bombsite is gone. Had Kinky rotate up through the door as quick as he could to try and help out. But not going to be finding success there either. There was also Navi pressured out mid, being able to cut off the rotations and... With that note, the bomb is just going to be ran back around towards that B bomb site. The goal of the remaining players just being to, at this point, try and get a couple of kills and maybe steal away some weapons. If they're not careful on the Hard Legion side of things, they might not be able to catch Na'Vi. Flashes on long are really good. Sphia had to turn away, and he was still blinded. Another flash comes in. Fantastic flashbangs from Na'Vi to get the early advantage in this round. And Perfecto is flying up through short. They're not ready for this. Perfecto finally gets the kill. It's actually Flamey who had to help him out. But the outcome is the same. Na'Vi get all the kills onto this A bomb site. Yeah, just, I, I guess you've seen just the entire T side so far. Rage holding this angle, a very tight angle, and what? How does he get that kill? Rage just spamming through the door, actually finds the headshot. A little bit of luck, perhaps, but maybe that's what Hard Legion need to try and put up a fight in this round. Ooh, looking for more. This time he can actually see his opponents, unfortunately not being able to connect with the Deagle as of yet. It was actually uh, Forrester, I believe, there, who was shooting them ones off. Rage had been in the spawn, but he moved back down for a moment. There's only now positioning himself to try and spot that short cross, and Electronic was already ready for it. So it's all on Crad. Two health. He was tagged up in the beginning of this round, of course, and actually did manage to get a shot off on Flamey. With his A split, 
You can see hardly to move him back in as quickly as they can to try and put up a defense. They'll even attempt to boost the up, I believe. For now, though, that's not going to be the goal. Rage just chilling around on that angle. Gets destroyed by Flamey. And yeah, they should have this bomb. So they do have a smoke. Only one, though. So crossing the bomb over could be a little bit of an issue. They expect the flank from Crad, who has been just aggressive for this entire series so far. Well, one of them saving. And see an how... Yeah, he's he's trying to get the op. Oh, nah, that's a bit unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think he was trying to get the op to carry over, just so that they could give that the rage in the next rounds, really, in this final round, or potentially final round. Well, there's one. Oh, and he should escape on the B now. Oh, oh maybe. Oh, so close. God, I feel like they're going to do something funky here. Yeah, Krad has been able to find one up close on that mid smoke as they pushed in. Forrester waiting up close on B as well. This is a risky play from Navi to just try and go straight through that B smoke. And Forrester makes them pay the price. Taking out three as they move forward. Even tagging up Simple through the smoke, I believe, as well. Down to 45 as Simple being left in a one <laughs> on five. Realizes his chances are pretty much zero. So he gets rid of that off. He's like, yeah, you're not having that next round. It's a 2v4 for Navi to try and overcome. There is a player behind the doors. That smoke is a bit awkward as well. It's a bit out in the open. So it's something they've got to be aware of. Simple and Perfecto have won rounds between them previously. A 2v4 to try and win this time. Oh, the flash is so good. What? Simple lands the no-scope, but he's not going to get the second chance. Perfecto with three players. First kill found. He's trapped in the corner. Perfecto, only two health left. Surely he can't win this. AK in hand. He looks for the kill, but Sviat is able to hunt him down. And hard legion. There's actually four players around here. Yeah. Kraz called upon the entire army to defend him it seems he's got so many bodyguards but can they keep him safe sviat gets a kill crag gets one it's back to a 3v3 on the trades and flamey gets a shot straight through that smoke he may have spotted sviat he may have heard him either way he's got the kill unless he runs in right now at the moment though not being sure if they could have already creeped out on the b he is making what was probably the correct decision to not go in on his own actually does eventually peek forward just to catch the timing on them as they move out of the tunnels rage has the ability to try and wall bag them as they cross and that's good damage it could help out this nade but actually getting the kill unfortunately not lined up straight away will eventually oh. go in and okay on alongside the nade from rage as well does get them the kill and now it's all on flamey overtime is once again looking possible flamey needs to come up clutch looking for that first kill has done the damage but was dinked down himself and eventually finished off by the pistol of rage there it is and overtime is going to be needed hard legion players ready to hold oh nicely timed molly to slow down the mid players though so that's a big issue lets them focus more on tunnels as they come out and it's going to be forrester and spiat just completely locking down b and as the bomb dropped, that is 14 seconds left for Flamey and Electronic to try and recover, which is just impossible to do without that bomb. Flamey's gone, Electronic is left alone. And at this point, really, I guess saving. I mean, they're in the overtimes, so he doesn't need to, but he has no other option. He's going to move in. If he could get the up off Rage, that would have been nice, but he actually just goes down afterwards instead. Oh, Ooh, no. Molly, Oh, though. no. Yeah, completely blinded on the bomb site as well. Oh. Spiat is somehow still able to get a double kill from that. More being found. Looking to try and drop simple if he had the M4 still. Oh, the bomb's Maybe bomb it would have been a little bit easier. But yeah, that's the issue. The bomb even dropping down and towards the spawn. Simple realizes a little bit of a mouse swing out of frustration as this round is done. And, I mean, if, at least if they save the weapons, they'll have those to work with here in the following. But other than that, it's a little bit a little bit shoddy. Boomage and Perfecto do have enough for the rifles, thankfully. You know, reading Na'Vi really well in these first two rounds. They stacked A previously. It worked out for them, but this time Boomich has got the opening kill for Na'Vi. That might be just what they needed. Rage having to back away, and Boomich with a second entry onto the A site. He's taking matters into his own hands here, as Na'Vi look good to get this round. Let's try and work in together, regain the short control, and then, of course, even at that point, two players immediately on short with the ability to have health for more. Which came over, didn't help out too much, though. Perfecto has still had an easy time being able to find Forrester, and... Yeah, I mean, there's not really a lot to be done here. There's going to need to be just some insane shots being connected. There's one from Rage. I could maybe let him move forward in the spawn, but then again, he still needs this player to deal with the short ones. Otherwise, he's moving up, trying to make it to the ramp. He would just get peaked. It's last round. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know why they're not trying to go quicker here, but there you go. Navi take a 16th round. He's just kind of walking up for free. 
right now restricting that control and yeah forcing the t's over towards b we still see the open and still being found by forrester of course this man is incredible so far in this matchup and sphia he finds that rotation in true mid simple he hopefully will be able to return this and give them the opening but no sphia is just insane two quick headshots boomich oh this is never a position that navi thought they'd have themselves in they were never even meant to be here they were meant to win this group comfortably that are nearby to come in quickly. It's simple there, who's kind of entrusted with helping from long. The smoke makes it a bit more difficult. He still does some decent damage and will eventually manage to finish off Kinky. But Flamey trapped in the corner and Imperfecto on the back of the bomb site, not able to find anything either. Suddenly it's a three on three. The health does favor the CTs. The pressure is unbelievable right now. Boomich moving in, looking for this fight, but he's not ready. Krag gets the kill. Two more to find for Hard Legion to take victory, and Forrester finds another. It's all on Simple to be the savior of Na'Vi in this clutch, but the time is so far gone, and there it is. Hard Legion take the series 2-0.